you can access your voicemail a few different ways. You can use View, Voicemail, or simply click the voicemail icon. Or, if you have it already accessible in your view window, simply click the tab. This is visual voicemail, so you will see your inbox, deleted, fax, saved. You can add and delete these folders at will. Right click anywhere in this window and you can create a new box, rename this saved box, or delete it. I'm going to go back to my inbox folder and you'll see I have three new messages. To listen to the message, simply press the blue arrow key and it will play either through the phone or through your computer. And you can control that preference um, in your user preference area. This plays it through the phone, this plays it through the computer, and this will stop the message at any point. And here's the volume control. This folder with the gear icon is the settings for your voicemail. If I click that, I'll see how I can record my name, change my out-of-office greetings or any of my greetings. I also can view my limitations and these will be set by the administrator. When you're listening to your messages, it's a good idea to get into the practice of entering a comment. That way, when you go back to your messages, I can see who it was without having to rely on the number only. I can right click on this message. I have a few options. Again, I could play, play through the bound phone. I could change my comment, but I can also forward this message to someone else. If I click the forward icon, I have the option to record a message beforehand, and then I can say where it is I want to send this message. I can also save it to a file. This gives me the option to save this WAV file anywhere on my network. I can also call back the number simply by right clicking and click call back. Or I could add this contact to either my buddies or my address book. If I'm part of a call group, I will also see those shared mailboxes. And that's what you see down here. I'm part of the service, emergency and operator groups. If any mailbox messages would come into these areas, I have access to them as well. This area represents my personal mailbox messages.